Carter. And Justin Martyr says that the author of the book of Revelation is the Apostle John. I'll take his word for it, thank you. If you give me some argument about the style of the Greek in, in the book of, of the gospel, as opposed to this book, I'll just tell you that when you compare what these fishermen write like on their own and how they sound when they've got a, a very good amanuensis like Silas helping them, there is a difference and that explains it. If I used a secretary who was a, a fluent in English, or if I just sat down and write it in my own scrawl, there would be a change. But what I'm telling you, friend, is you need to read this book because the book of Revelation tells you that God is in control, that he will bring judgment, that the Kadoshim, who are slack, who are not faithful, uh, the ones who uh, succumb to idolatry, the ones who succumb to the world system of that final Babylon of the beast, the ones who take his mark, the ones who succumb, they will not have any part in the wonderful Sudas Yom Nisuim Hase. They will have no part. I want to tell you that when you read this book, you see that God is in control. His sovereignty is manifest. Human destiny is in his hands. Everything is manifest in heaven. What do you have when you read it? You have Michael and his angels and Satan. You have a beast coming up out of the sea and then a second beast coming up out of the earth, leading all people to worship the first beast. You have a world system that is corrupt. You have 144,000 faithful of Israel sealed on their forehead. Uh, when you read this, you're caught up in the spirit on Yom HaAdom. Now in 1970, I was in the Read More bookstore on Hollywood Boulevard. Anytime I went by there, if I could get a parking place, I would run in and get a book. I was always buying books in there. But one day, it was the end of 1970, almost uh, the time of Hanukkah, and I looked over and there by the window was this beautiful red, glossy, hardbound cover, this book. And I wanted, I wanted to read it. It was in modern English. I noticed that. I picked it up. It had been worked on for a couple of decades. In fact, when I was three years old, they had decided to do it. It took all that time. Finally, I was 27 years old. It was finally printed, finally published. Friend, I want you to know something. It would have cost me something that day if I had said, you know, it's a, a little pricey. I, I don't think I'll spend the money. I think I'll spend the money on something else. If I had made that decision, I want to guarantee you that there would not be an Orthodox Jewish Bible. The guy that was standing there holding this book could never have done this book. He had to get born again. He had to get right with God. His wrongs had to be righted by the Lord and by his blood. He had to be a, uh, become a new creature. Old things had to pass away, and he had to go through many trials, testings, and sufferings. And friend, I'm telling you that you need to read the Bible. And if you're Jewish, we've gone to a lot of trouble to make it kosher for you. But I'm praying you will read it, because if you will eat this scroll, it might be sweet in your mouth, but it will put fire in your belly and you will never be the same. Amen.